everyone on YouTube. My name's Hippo TC, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit, a little, some secrets on how to do a Fort of Fortune solo. Look at this, Fort of Fortune solo. I'm gonna give you some tips. So number one thing, if you're solo doing a Fort of Fortune, people like to steal from you. I would know, I'm a thieving pirate. So I'm gonna give you a tip, some advice on how to do it in a way that allows you to get it completed and maybe not thieved upon. Oh my gosh, when you approach a fort, Never approach the fort ugh, while you're on the deck of the boat, okay? It's very bad. Oh my gosh, it's very bad. Just kind of aim your boat at the fort and go down below. Go down below in the deck, okay? It, it seems dangerous up top, because it is, okay? Once you get close enough, you drop, you drop the anchor. Boom. Oh my gosh. Boom, perfect. See, that could not have gone better, actually. Could not have gone better. Now, here's the secret. Here's the secret I want to communicate to you. Number one, people will only go, sweat lords and tuck lords will only bother people at a Fort of Fortune if their boat is parked at the Fort of Fortune. So let's remove that temptation. I'm going to show you how. We are going to now leave the fort and I'm gonna stay on the fort for a second and complete a wave. Now I'm gonna send my boat towards Sunken Grove. It's a pretty good island. It's to the north of the fort, relatively close, but far enough away that people won't assume that I have swam, swum to did, swim, swam, swim, swim to did all the way over to the fort to do it without uh, my boat here. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Half sail this bad boy up. I'm gonna send it right over at Sunken Grove. And we're going to come over and do a single wave of uh, the Fort of Fortune. Now, the reason you want to do a single wave is because if you don't do a single wave, the fort could uh, despawn. So kind of doing a wave of the fort locks it in with the, the server. It's like, all right, someone's here. So it won't despawn, which is kind of nice. Like, you don't want it to despawn. Okay. Oh my goodness. That should do it. There we go. Okay. I think that doesn't. No, there's still a guy. Who we got here? Oh, who do we got here? In Athena. Okay. Now we're going to go over here. Pledge to the kingdom. It the kingdom swam swam it in all right perfect rude hey what's up you guys do you get black spotted by the pirate council The Pirate Council pirate sucks! Council. Pirate Council scum? Yeah, the Pirate Council sucks! Hey, I'm gonna bring my boat over. I wanna talk. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Pirate Council, wait, hold on. Yeah, Pirate Council yeah. sucks! You know what? I like this. I like this. <laughs> ahoy, ahoy! Is this the king? Hippo, dude. I totally thought... That you were like with Pirate Council, and I was like, No, Pirate bro! Council, scum. Yeah, Pirate that Council sucks, dude! I hate those guys! You know no. they're masquerading as pirates? Blurbs is not yeah. a pirate. He's a freak he's Look. he's signed up with the GMC, bro. Yeah, they're imposing rules and laws yeah. on us free men. That's free right. Here. Thank you. Look, agree, agree. I'm glad you are in agreement with me. Down with blurbs. Down, down he, with I call soul. him Lord Blurbet. He's like Beckett, bro. <sighs> Just start referring Disgusting. to him as Lord he, Blurbet he, and his he, fake pirate council. It, they have a secret contract with the GM, uh, GMU. That's gross. Or the GMC, whatever it is. That one. Grand Maritime Union. That's those guys. Not the car company? No, not the car company. No, no. GMU, okay. I think is what it I is. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Maritime yeah. Union. Okay. If you, I, we, we attack Pirate Council on site. Those guys are fake pirates. Good for you. Yeah. 
I will I will never speak ill of the whale lord ever Thank you. again. you. You shouldn't do it anyway, but I'm glad you're not going to do it I'm, now. <laughs> I'm personally, I am of the jade dragon religion. Okay, all right. what it is. Hey, listen, the whale and the jade get together just fine, you know. Well, <clears throat> all right. Well, you have a good day. We'll see you later. <clears throat> it was great seeing you, King. Uh, <clears throat> Down with love, blurbs. Love you, Hippo. Love have you, too. Day. You, too. You, Don't too. Think. Keep your sails in the wind, wind in your sails. And yep. Being freaky as always. Also, love it. Lovely. Freaky. And also, Lord Blurbet sucks. Blurbet sucks. Yeah. Blurbet. Back to what we were doing, chat. <laughs> Notice how the Fort of Fortune is still up. The reason it's still up is because we completed a wave over there. So now that we have parked our boat in a safer area and still a place that we can keep an eye on it. We are going to look for a rowboat. And if there's no rowboat, we're going to swim over to... <laughs> All right. Now, where was I? Genuine advice here with Hitbo. If you guys want to do the Fort of Fortune and you want to do it solo and you want to do it unbothered by scurvy dogs, parking your boat at a nearby island and then taking a rowboat and rowing over to it is going to be probably one of the safest ways for you to do it. You do need to be careful with kegs, and you do need to be careful with uh, obviously dying, but doing it solo is relatively easy now that they've scaled the world event up. So hopefully some of you guys can do these things and uh, get it done pretty quickly. Now this strategy works with every world event, but the world event, well, it's technically not a world event, but the one event that it doesn't work for is the Fort of the Damned. Because the Fort of the Dam means someone put it up. This uh, is a world event that randomly spawns. So tuckers and thieves and PVPers and all that stuff, they genuinely want to just steal, generally just want to steal your treasure. In this instance, if there's nobody there, they don't see a boat there, most people leave. I'm one of those people. Like if I'm out in the, on the hunt for something and there's nobody at the fort, uh, generally I would leave. Now I don't do that anymore. But here we are. It can despawn. Oh, they changed it big. It can despawn very quickly. But when you do a wave, you lock it in. So it's like the game treats it as if someone's here, which is really nice. And as long as you kind of be careful, so like I'm going to blow up the kegs. I don't I don't want to die a death of death. So I'm going to kind of blow up all those the kegs that I see. We should be we should be relatively just fine. Varies are always the same amount. Uh, when it's solo, it scales, so it's really easy. It um, I, I it varies as far as like what are you talking about like the types of skeletons that will vary, yeah. But if you do it with a sword, I mean it doesn't really not that difficult and then there's great food now at fort so it's a really easy way to do the fort of fortune without being bothered and that's kind of the big thing right as long as you're being careful you know, everything will be fine if you want to kill gold skeletons you got to throw water on them and they start to rust like this so this guy is rusting and then they just die to a single shot from your weapon this guy's rusty. Single shot will kill him. So recently I learned that not everyone knows that about them. And then you got leaf colored skeletons. Those guys gain strength through water. So don't let them run through water. But a sword lunge will kill will kill everybody but the gold skeletons. So Vomit works as well. Yes, it does. You can vomit on them and it'll work as well. They were pirates. Pirates don't have enough money for full gold. Oh, here we go. Eventually we'll get to the captain wave. Bingo. I want to die to the captain. That would be rude. I forget what the count is. So the final waves are one single captain, and then you'll get two ashen captains. 
And then you'll get the Ashen Lord. Now, the Ashen Lord is actually relatively easy to do. Uh, you just got to keep the Ashen Lord in the main tower. That's the secret there. So, let us kill these goldies real quick. And then we'll take the Ashen Lord into the main tower. Quick look around. I don't see anybody coming in. So we're gonna just chill in here. So I would stay in the main tower. The reason is the meatballs won't get you. And then with your sword, you just lunge right through them. Oh, I'm trying not to die. There we go. So you just lunge right through them. And because it's solo, it does not take that many lunges to kill them. Before you know it, you'll be down to phase one. I also realized that everyone knows how to do, um, not everyone knows how to do a jumping sword lunge, right? So what I like to do is you block first. You start your lunge, and then when you hear the shing, you jump. You can even, like, delay it a little bit. So, like, you don't even have to hit it right before. Which is really nice. Blocking first is where you get the best the best luck for it, though. If you jump too early, then you that's when you kind of have that sword lunge breakdown. almost died <laughs> then the last little bit i would say is during kind of the damage cycle when he's kind of like down to the count it's a really good time to get some food take a little quick peek around everything make sure no one's kind of approaching you and you're in business Final wave, he'll do the thing where he like uh, sends meatballs down from the heavens, but you're inside the main tower, so you're actually kind of safe. And then because you're jumping, lunging through him, you don't really get caught on fire either. So you just do it over and over again until he did. Take this and we're gonna yeet it in here. So now they'll see the cloud disappear. They'll go down, run down to their map and check it really quick. And now it looks like no one's, like it looks like at this point the fort despawned. So if I was sailing towards it, I would be at a distance. I would scope in, you know, I wouldn't see any ship there and I would just make the assumption that it despawned. That's that's essentially kind of the the thought process I would have as a tucker. No, I'm not gonna run in there. Where's that keg? Just... Not gonna run in there. That's crazy talk. We don't run into things with kegs until I saw the kegs blow. But you'd be too far away. That's kind of the thing, right? If you're right next to the fort, if you're like approaching it then yeah you'd have to cut your losses as a solo player and then just get the heck out of there but since uh, i don't see anybody kind of coming in most people at distance will assume that this just was just this just despawned because they'll see it they'll see no one's there and they'll just make the assumption that it just despawned 